Hello and welcome to Assess, Image Analysis Software for Plant Disease Quantifications. My name is John Koenig. I'm from the Department of Plant Pathology at The Ohio State University. And this is number one of a three-part series called Lessons on How to Use Assess. First off, you must download the Assess program onto your desktop or onto your computer. Once onto your computer, you can double click the icon that looks like a diseased leaf. Now you'll notice that Assess will take only a couple minutes, moments to load up. I recommend waiting the entire 10 seconds or recommended time for Assess to load up in order for Assess to work properly and flawlessly. Once loading up, you'll notice that the Assess software looks pretty identical to any of your other Microsoft functions. With this in mind, you'll see that your APS Assess program file name is located up on top. Below that, you'll see your menu bar. And below that, you'll see your toggle switches within your toolbar, of which we'll be using throughout the duration of this tutorial. One feature that you might not be familiar with would be the threshold panel located here on the right hand side. And I'm just going to slide that over just a little bit. We'll be using and referencing back to this panel threshold panel uh, in a little while. So let's get started. The first part that you, we need to do is upload an image to be assessed. Now what assess does is it determines one of two things, percent areas or counts uh, data. Today we'll be going through briefly both of those on an example by using cut out paper and cut out paper. So first Let's open up our file. That you can do that one of two ways by clicking on the menu file button and scrolling down to the open menu and you'll see that this dialog box will pop up. And then you can select your image much like you do any other Microsoft function in that fashion. Number two would be by clicking on this open toggle switch on your menu on your toggle switch bar and you'll notice that the same screen will pop up. Now from here you can navigate throughout your computer, your documents in order to locate the file that you want to upload and determine percent diseased area. So now that I have located it, Assess has picked it up and now it's into the program itself. As you can see the image is a little bit uh, large in size. One way you can navigate throughout the photograph would be by clicking on the scroll bars and you can toggle left and right using the bottom one and up and down using the scroll bar on your right hand side. For convenience reasons, we want to be able to see the entire image on one screen. So simply click on the view menu button and you can de determine what percentage of the actual image that you want to see or what percentage of the size of the image. So if we only wanted to see the full image at 25%, that's what the image would look like. For this tutorial, or my favorite feature is the fit to window. So we're going to fit then the image to the window and that way we have the entire image to play with within our window. It's large enough for us to see um, different aspects and we're able then to manipulate it as needed. So next what we need to do is go through here and determine our area of interest or AOI. We can click on this toggle button and much like what you'll find in any of your PowerPoint presentations or picture managers, you'll see that these little cropping features that you can manipulate and move around as needed. Now wherever you put these, these boxes, that'll be the area of which you will be measuring. So let's put this back to its original view because we wanted to engulf the entire picture for the reason of this tutorial. And now that we have that set, we want to come over here to our threshold panel and determine what thresholds uh, to use. Now on this panel, you'll notice we have an upper threshold and a lower threshold, as well as a hue spectrum, color spectrum. Now we want to be able to determine the entire area of this, this photograph and engulf then within that area all the pictures and all the colors that are both this green color 
and then this red color. So if we scroll our bottom threshold down to a purple, which is not part of either one of those color spectrums, wait for a little while, and then move our upper threshold up into the blue, which isn't part of the picture at all neither, and then hit apply, we'll notice that the entire photograph will go a white color. This is good. This is telling us that everything within the image will be analyzed or that everything in the image is between the hues of our upper threshold of 229 and our lower threshold of 8. This is our leaf area. This is good. So in order to determine what lesion area we want to quantify, simply click on your leaf button and now we can see the lesion area. You can manipulate then your lesion area by looking at the thresholds once again and you can see that we are now eliminating all the red with the thresholds of 101 and a lower threshold of 31. If we want to quantify the percent red area we would just then hit apply and then hit the collect percent disease area or percent area toggle right there on our right hand side of that bar and from that then you're able to determine that 89.39 percent of that entire picture was red or if in this case red meaning diseased area that 89.39 of that area was diseased now one aspect you can also play around with in this program is let's say that red isn't diseased but your blue green feature is diseased and you want to find out what percentage area is that so by simply readjusting your upper thresholds to engulf your green and not your red you are then able to see that the white areas once again are the, going to be the four areas that we're going to be covering and going to engulf them in our percent area. Hit apply. Apply sets everything back. You can toggle back and forth to make sure that you have that area completely engulfed. And then simply come over here to your percent area diseased again. And you'll notice that 10.58% of that dis area is diseased or within the realm of hues 214 and 111. Now if you also want to use this program to do disease counts with the understanding then that our upper threshold of 214 and 110 will find the diseased areas in green, you just simply come over here to the count button located directly beneath the percent area button, click that, give assess some time to determine what count or how many diseased areas are there and voila you'll see that down here in our bottom right hand corner that we have a count of four and assess then automatically comes through here and assigns each count a different color for easy identification that concludes lesson number one on the basics on how to use assess software Please stay tuned for lesson number two, which will go in and use actual pictures of diseased turf and assess amount disease, a percent diseased area. Thank you and have a wonderful day.